Lunch. South Africa has launched the consultation draft of the International Integrated Reporting Framework in 11 countries around the world. Now, the document aims to create a new global reporting model and has a three-month window period for public comment. Joining us now to explain more about the development is Mervyn King. He's the chairman of the International Integrated Reporting Council. Thanks so much, Mervyn, for joining us uh, this afternoon. Let's get straight into what exactly we're looking at right now and what exactly has been launched and put on the table? Well, the launch took place and is taking place in 10 different countries around the world, uh, from Sydney to New York, so the New York one is not yet launched. But I did the South African one. I had a choice to do it anywhere in the 10 countries in the world, but I chose my home country, and I chose it also because South Africa is in the forefront at the moment in integrated reporting. What has happened is that over the last two years since the IIRC was formed, we have developed a discussion document and now we actually have a consultation draft framework and hope of the three-month commentary period to have version one of the framework in December. This framework sets out a set of principles on which a person should do an integrated report. And an integrated report is the result of the collective mind of the board being applied to the critical financial, critical sustainability issues and putting that in concise, clear and understandable language in an integrated mm. report so that the user can make an informed assessment that the business of that company will sustain value creation in the longer term. Mervyn, there are some dinosaurs out there that might say this is just putting more layers of administration and more hurdles towards uh, assessing an investment. But on the other hand, I was quite startled to see this. You said a PwC experiment with a small group of investors showed how their valuations are influenced by a company's reporting a significant percentage and a significant 80% you say or they say of investors recommended sell when they did not have any quantified non-financial information but most recommended buy when presented with more integrated information so this justifies it and you must be very proud that South Africa is a leader in this field. I am and uh, it's been driven by uh, complete change since about the year 2000 when one does an analysis of, of uh, great companies listed on great stock exchanges around the world, about 80% of the market cap of these great companies were represented by intangible assets. The definition of an intangible asset is one that is not an additive in a balance sheet according to financial reporting standards. So it was accepted by the International Federation of Accountants, IFAC, which is the umbrella body for all societies, as is the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, a member, that financial reporting, although critical, was not sufficient. It just was not giving the user the complete picture of the true value of a company, how it impacted on society, the environment, and how it was going to sustain value creation in the change world of the 21st century where you and I personally and uh, you and I as directors of companies have directed companies who are the biggest users of natural assets on planet Earth on a basis almost as if um, natural assets were not finite. Well, they are finite and diminishing. Meanwhile, population growth is there. and We've got 7 billion people now and in 30 years' time we'll have another 2 billion. And yet we have a diminishing natural asset base on which we beneficiate to satisfy that demand for product. So quite clearly, uh, logically, one cannot just carry on as mm -hmm. usual. And reporting becomes critical because as you report, so you behave. So that the rationale and with the derived benefit, Mervyn, of course, we've got the IIRC blueprint being uh, released for consultation today. What kind of feedback have you received so far? Well, it's very interesting. Uh, I've had feedback from uh, Australia already and countries that launched long before we did it here at 8 o'clock this morning at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, and the feedback has been very positive. I can just tell you today that there were 270 people at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, consisting of South Africa's great, greatest asset owner, the uh, Government Employees Pension Fund, just as an example, 
and some of its greatest companies were here, Goldfields, um, you know, so there were great companies listed on the main board of the stock exchange here today and great asset owners. And uh, they were all positive about the, the information which they get. They can make more informed assessments of the sustainability of the business of the company from an integrated report than just lead, reading a financial report alone or a mm. sustainability report alone.